to study in the International School of Agricultural Sciences has really been an incredible opportunity for me and one of the best things that I could do for my future. I'm really happy that I took this decision to come uh, here to learn agriculture because here we learned from feeling the soil till the most advanced agricultural techniques present till now. One thing I love most about my own research is that I work directly with the farmers. So I go to their field, I discover the problem, I bring it back to the lab, I study it, I find a way to solve it, I present it to the farmer, they like it, they adopt it, so we go to the field, we try it, we see the outcome, and then we report it in science. The research is going to help farmers uh, increase the, the productivity, that is the, the, the yield production, because of uh, developing new varieties which are maybe have a lot of roots and they can withstand ash uh, climate conditions like in drought uh, based areas. Uh, that is talking about where I come from in Kenya. One of the tools that I've gotten here is really the hands-on experience in the farm, growing my own food under experts who know exactly what, what they're doing. And that experience has really given me uh, the knowledge on how to produce my own food, farm to table, and sustainable agriculture. What surprised me really is that the, yeah, you don't have water enough and how you develop agriculture, it's, it is amazing. We have managed to interact with people from Jamaica, we are exchanging ideas, people from Jamaica, the USA. I get to know about their culture and they get to learn how we do things and it's really exchanging a lot of ideas and it's a wonderful experience. There is the, the open door, you can always walk into the professor if you if you feel like there is something uh, maybe you're not comfortable with, they're always there ready to listen, ready to encourage you. They solved the smallest problem we had to the biggest problem we had, so it was really helpful and they were always so welcoming. The multicultural uh, experience in the school is amazing. You know, you have people from from Ecuador, from from Germany, from Kenya, from Ethiopia, in the same country. Coming from California, where nutrition really is on the forefront of most people's minds and daily lives, this one-year opportunity was, was amazing to develop these tools and knowledge. When I found this program at the Hebrew University of All Places, which is a world-ranked university, and in Israel, this nutrition program is the best of the best and, and really chases after the newest information. It was just an amazing opportunity for me. It really ignited uh, a fire and excitement within me and a passion. And, you know, I felt this passion throughout the entire year and I absolutely loved it. When you're part of the international school, many, many doors are open to you. Like you can do a PhD, but you can also work in a company. You can also apply what you learn here. This is an amazing opportunity. My experience with the international students has been amazing, really above and beyond what I, what I expected. And I'm really looking forward to having more of these students in the lab. The international program is a meeting place for students from all over the world, some with more experience in agriculture and some with more academic experience. Together with the facilities given in the faculty by our professors in our labs, we work together, uh, each one giving their own uh, spices and, and, uh, and ideas to make something together, which is uh, basically to help feed the world. everybody and uh, welcome to our uh, uh, open day. Uh, my name is Aliza Fleischer. I'm the Vice Dean for International Affairs of the Faculty of Agriculture at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Um, we are here, we said already hello to everybody, so if you keep, if you want to keep on saying hello, continue with the chat. I will start this open day with a short presentation of our Hebrew University, very short re review of the Faculty of Agriculture. Then me and Professor uh, Saul Budman uh, will uh, uh, describe the different programs we have. We also have on board uh, Professor Alon Samach and Tamara uh, Plubesova, which are the head of the programs. 
uh, of some of the programs, because we are presenting here many programs. Uh, we have also Daniela Calero, she's from Mexico, and she will uh, tell you about her experience in our faculty. And we'll end up with a short uh, answer and question uh, session. Uh, however, if you have questions or anything, please don't hesitate. Keep on asking on chat. We have here on board, we have uh, Nurit, we have Maital, we have Mazi, we have everybody here, we keep on answering. And in the end, uh, some of the questions, I mean, Mikal and Rit and Mazi will collect and we'll all be able to answer. Okay, so now we can start. And we have here, um, we we'll start with Israel. Why to study in Israel? Why to come here to Israel and study agriculture? So first of all, we are leaders of innovation. We are considered, Israel is considered the startup nation. We have excellent academic, uh, uh, academ we, we are excel in academics, and we have a vibrant student social scene. So all of this is why to study in Israel, but why to study agriculture in our faculty? And I was trying to choose which topics should I present here, and uh, I, I had so many, but I was limited by the space. So that's what I had, the, the first ones that came to my mind but we have lots of other issues and research topics that we excel at and we are expert and I'm giving you just a few of them. It's uh, advanced irrigation systems. We are world experts on irrigation, water management, that after a year of living without any water, we managed to do this. Um, precision agriculture and remote sensing, also with lack of uh, water and lack of enough uh, resources. You have to learn to live with whatever you have and, and optimize it. Food spoilage and waste, big issue nowadays, Mediterranean diet. We have a, a course here, summer courses and lots of courses dealing with that. Dynamic economic models of weather management. These are all different issues that our faculty is dealing with. And last and not least, it's a beautiful country. What you see here is just, uh, it's the south, it's the desert. But up north, it's green and beautiful. Uh, a little bit about our university. It was founded in, in 1918, was, has six campuses, uh, seven faculties. We are one of those faculties. Not all of faculties are located in Jerusalem. Our faculty is located about 45 minutes uh, drive from Jerusalem, half an hour from Tel Aviv. We have uh, 14 schools, nine, 980 faculty members, about 24,000 students. About 10% of them are international, coming from 19 and more countries. Um, awards and excellence. We, have, we are uh, related to eight Nobel Prize uh, winners. One of them is Albert Einstein, who was the, the founder of our university. We have one Fields Medal in Mathematics, in uh, Turning the World in Computer Science, Ebel Prize in Math, one Canada Gardner International Award, Wolf, four, 14 Wolf, Pri Wolf Prizes uh, winners, EMET Prizes, 100 Rothschild Prizes, 295. Israel prices, and we are consider we are located at the top world 100 most innovative universities. So this is uh, we are consider one of the best university in Israel. Our faculty, our faculty was established in 1942. It started with 21 students. It started as an experimental station. Uh, Ten years later, it became part of the Hebrew University and it became a faculty, one of the faculty of uh, the Hebrew University. A little bit about our legacy. Uh, every time you eat a cherry tomato, just you should know that we started it all here in our campus. Research and the development of cherry tomatoes, the same is true for drip irrigation. So this is the thing that uh, um, we started and we are working on. I and mean, we worked on what we are working on, I'll tell you in a minute. A little bit numbers from the 21 students that we started, we are now, and we have 2,400 students, 105 faculty members, uh, and we have, uh, out of them, 1,400 are 
bachelor degree, 400 masters, and we have PhD, and we are the only vet school in Israel, so we also are veterinarian school students. Um, we have about 21 study program. So that's our faculty in numbers. What's our challenges? What, what, what do we uh, strive in our research, in our teaching? is uh, uh, what we are thinking is what the world will need in uh, 2050, in 30 years from now. And those are not uh, very small challenges, actually very big challenges, which are alleviate world hunger and thirst, increase agricultural productivity, protect the environment. It, it's very easy to alleviate world hunger and thirst and increase agricultural productivity. I can't say it's easy, but it's easier if you don't care about the environment. You, know, you can use as much as you want, pesticides and, and whatever. However, if you look at this uh, uh, figure here on the right hand side, we have sustainability right in the middle. We really want to do everything with the, uh, being very conscious what we do to the environment. So in the end, we want to have, we have, we want to have sustainable world and have more food, better water, but without harming what we have right now and keep more for the upcoming generations. A little bit of taste of what we do now. It was also very, very difficult for me to choose what, what am I showing you in this short time that we have. But uh, one of the research, one of our labs is working on 3D uh, footprinting technology. We don't have enough food, so we can go to the lab and have a 3D printer and print hamburgers for us. So this is one of the topics that we are working. It's all vegan burgers, yeah, and um, uh, what they're developing in the lab, it's cellulose's general platform for complex food metrics. So you have to make it a hamburger, so it has to be put together. Another type of research is biodegradable gas containing capsules. We all know that the world, oceans, and the world in general is full of plastics floating around. What we are trying to look for is environmentally friendly loose fill packaging materials that uh, won't be so harmful to the environment. So that's a little bit taste. You got a little bit of taste. If you're more interested, you go to our site and you'll see much more about what we do here. Uh, what we want to talk here is about choosing your track. We have two master's track. One is one year non-thesis track, which I will tell you later. But now I would like to invite Professor Saul Boardman to introduce you to the two-year thesis track. And Saul, the floor is yours, please. So you can start talking. Saul. Thank you, thank you, Aliza, and hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for, for coming, and welcome to Israel through the Zoom. Uh, welcome to Israel and Rehoboth. And um, so, um, as uh, Aliza uh, said, uh, my, my name is Saul Burman. I, I am a vice dean of uh, academic affairs here in, in the faculty, uh, responsible for the uh, undergraduate and uh, and uh, graduate programs um, in terms of their research uh, uh, programs. And uh, I think that the Alisa presented it very well, uh, the vision of our faculty, uh, feeding the world while keeping uh, the planet uh, uh, green. And the way, uh, the approach that we use to, for, to, to approach this, to, to this vision is by combining uh, both fundamental research uh, with uh, innovation, uh, in uh, applied aspects of uh, many topics related to agriculture, food, and the environment. And, and, and this is in the name, this comes from the name of our faculty, right? Faculty of uh, Agriculture, Food, and Environment. Yes, we, we, we want a better uh, improved yields, we want better food and quality food, but, but still taking care of the environment. And uh, okay, so I will talk about a bit about the, our two year thesis track uh, programs. Actually, we have 11 such uh, programs in different uh, areas. This, uh, these uh, programs combine uh, two uh, components. One component uh, is the courses. Uh, some, some courses are obligatory for, for each program. Some 
are uh, uh, courses that can be chosen by a list of courses. But uh, I, I would say that the main aspect of this uh, master uh, uh, track is uh, research. And the research is uh, conducted by the uh, master student under the supervision of, of a, a researcher, which is also a teacher in, in our uh, faculty. Maybe, Alisa, I don't know if you can go to the next slide because I prefer to yeah. talk about the programs. Yes, and, and, and again, uh, enter, yeah. I prefer to, to, to talk, to, 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 to present the, the programs in the context of uh, the four uh, pillars of research in our institute, because we are talking about study programs, but we are talking about a very important component of this uh, uh, thesis track, which is research. And in the faculty, we have four main uh, pillars of uh, research. One is the Institute of Plant Sciences, the other one is Institute of Biochemistry, Food Science, and Nutrition. Uh, we have the a, a Department of Animal Science uh, together with the Veterinary School. And we have what we call now, and it's recently, uh, a, a, a recently established Institute of Environmental Science that includes four different departments, the Department of Soil and Water Sciences, Department of Plant Pathology and Microbiology, Department of Entomology and Environmental Economics. And our research programs are related to this institute. For example, in the Institute of Plant Science, they have, uh, you cannot see here, I cannot see here in my slide because of technical problem, but we have four different programs. Uh, horticulture, genetics and breeding, feed and, uh, field and vegetable crops, and plant science in agriculture. In the Institute of Biochemistry, uh, Food Science and Nutrition, we have a master degree in Biochemistry, Food Science and Nutrition. At Animal Science and Veterinary, we have a master program on this uh, topic. Uh, we have the Institute of Environmental Science. There are different programs. We have soil, uh, uh, soil and water science. We have the program of agroecology and plant health that is much related to the a, a plant pathology and microbiology and entomology departments. Uh, we have the environmental quality and natural resources in agriculture program. And uh, we have environmental economy and management, which is more related to the department of environmental economics. In addition, in our faculty, we have an additional program, which is the biotechnology. And in our case, case agricultural biotechnology, with, which actually is a inter-faculty program which is shared with other faculties in, in our uh, university. So, so as you see, the master, the, the, the thesis uh, track programs are strongly related to the uh, departments and to the institutes of research in our uh, faculty. I think we can move to the next slide. Um, <coughs> uh, if you make in Google Faculty of Agriculture Israel, so you can easily uh, uh, get to the information of all master programs. And just to give you one example, uh, for example, if you click in one of them, here is agroecology and plant health. Plant health, yeah. Uh, next one, uh, Lisa, maybe. So you will get the information in both. Uh, first, uh, you will, we, we can get information about the different courses of this program. And uh, in the next uh, slide, uh, you can see also details about the head of the program, the secretary uh, to which you can approach to get information. And very important here, the research, the, you can from here reach to the websites of the researchers that can be the potential uh, supervisors of this uh, uh, thesis. One important thing that I, uh, it's not in the presentation, but I would like to, to, to stress is that uh, there is, in this uh, 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 a thesis track for outstanding students, they have the possibility after four, sem four semesters to go to the direct track, track to PhD studies without presenting the master thesis, okay? So the requirements for admissions, first, you should have an undergraduate degree in agricultural science, nutrition, biology, economy, and other related fields. And related fields can be, for example, uh, mathematics and physics science, because we have a very, now in recent years, we have developed a, a very a strong a community of researchers in the area 
of uh, of uh, of uh, informatics, um, what's called a quantitative biology, okay, which use a lot of tools, uh, softwares, and programming and and mathematic models uh, to try to describe and predict the uh, uh, biological and agricultural phenomena. So we have this uh, uh, this uh, requirement. Uh, 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 well, the, the undergraduate degree should be in a minimal gra grade, minimum grade of 80 or equivalent, uh, because uh, according to the scale in your institute, uh, English uh, proficiency, and very, very important, a secure thesis supervisor. For most programs, you will be able to register if you have, uh, if you have, can, can stand on these requirements, and you have also a researcher in the faculty that will be willing to supervise you. One exception is the program of economy and uh, environmental economy and management. Then in, in this program, you can register without having a supervisor at the beginning. Okay, next uh, slide. Uh, so for this uh, thesis track program, we have scholarships available, uh, master students uh, in this uh, year, uh, in, the, in the two year thesis track, uh, who are devoted full time to their research. They are first. They are generally exempt from paying tuition for two years, and they are uh, usually they will receive a scholarship of at least uh, about one thousand uh, dollar per month for the duration of the studies. Uh, I think uh, that's most important. Okay. Okay. So thank you. All. We'll get back to you soon with the questions and answers. So this was the two-year thesis track, which uh, Professor Saul Buderman uh, introduced us. And now I'll uh, tell you in short, the one-year non-thesis track. The one-year non-thesis track is specifically designed for people who want to study within one year. They don't have two years to dedicate uh, to uh, study, and they want to, within one year, to finish the master's and then go and work or very important for students who try to look for super who wanted to apply for the tourist thesis track couldn't find a supervisor and so uh, they can start with us and while they are here studying in the first year non-thesis track they go to the lab they, they do some lab work especially during the second semester and then they can find a supervisor what can I tell you from our experience, the last uh, program, about 80% of our one year non-thesis track student continue on to the second year. They found an advisor, they had a scholarship, they were able to uh, graduate with the thesis. So I'll describe a little bit about the, this one year thesis track. We have basically five programs, only five programs in this uh, track. Two of them we start in October 2020, this next October, and it's a Master's in Environmental Quality Sciences and Plant Sciences. We have here uh, Professor Alon Samech and Professor Tamara Polu Bestova, who will answer, they are the head of the programs so that they are able to answer your questions um, towards the end at the questions and answer session. We also have a program here in uh, uh, Masters in Viticulture and Mammalogy, which is unique. Uh, we just had an open day for it. If you want some more information, we'll give you. And the year after, in uh, 2021, we have a nutri Masters in Nutrition and Animal Science. Again, I'm mentioning this is an optional. One option is to start in this non-track thesis and continue on to a Masters thesis track. What uh, our program, Environmental Quality Sciences Program, this is the upcoming program. What does it uh, prepare you? It prepares you to develop and learn alternative water and energy resources, water and soil pollution, pollution treatment. This we do a lot in Israel, with a lot of experience in it. Waste recycling, agriculture intensification, environmentally sustainable pest control and plant protection. And we have environmental economics department here, excellent, especially dealing with water management. The total number of courses in this program is 40 credits. We have it spread over 12 months, 12 months. So uh, that's, amount, that's the amount of credits that you get in courses that you study. Uh, 
what with uh, our uh, masters in plant science prepares you and gives you a background in theoretical experimental approach to solve problem lab work uh, you use scientific equipment a hands-on experience in the field we have an excellent uh, farm here actually a experimental farm next to our faculty uh, which uh, it's, it's great you really get hands-on experience you get advanced knowledge and skills concerning crop plant production and preparation for warming changes that Israel is facing for many years. Again, number of credits, it's uh, 40. So what's the structure? What do we have besides the courses? We have professional educational trip. You can see here uh, our students in uh, Intel offices. Uh, research conducted under guidance of researchers in the lab that's in the second semester, you actually enter the lab, you meet the uh, professors, you meet the researchers, you get hand-on courses together with Israeli students. We guarantee housing for international school students and there is lots of summer activities and extensional social events. So that's basically our two programs that will open uh, next October. Uh, what do you need? You need English proficiency. You can choose one of the three here that appear. Admission requirement, you need undergraduate degree in similar fields, agricultural science, environment, biology, plants, and geology. Minimal final grade is 80 or equivalent. There is a tuition. You have to pay tuition, which is uh, 18,000 US dollar. We have some very few scholarships available. Um, but uh, that's, um, th that's how much the tuition is. That's the Masters in Viticulture and Analogy. I'm not going to expand on it, just know it exists here. And if you know, if you want, uh, ask us or write to us and we'll send you all the information. Viticulture and Analogy is winemaking, just if yeah. not everyone is familiar with those terms. Okay, thank you, Meital, right? So you choose your track, whether one year non-thesis with the possibility to continue to the second year, which gives you the possibility, or if you find a, an advisor and a lab that are willing to take you, then you apply to the two-year thesis. It's up to you, whatever is suitable for you. A little bit, uh, get a glimpse of our student life. We could see we have here on the bottom left-hand side, uh, International Food Day, which all of us, yeah, each student from each own country cooks its own food and we all eat it. There was a uh, prior to the Corona. Now we have to cancel this year. We have a visit in Jerusalem. Uh, on the right hand side, there was Purim. It's parallel to Halloween in the States where people wear costumes and our students volunteer in the children's hospital. Uh, all together, we celebrate holiday with you. We have summer activities, we have social cultural activities, and uh, we give, we help medical assistance. Uh, Daniela, are you here with us? Because I would like to invite you, our student Daniela Calero started our one year non-thesis trek. She's from Mexico, and then she continued on to uh, 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 continue on to uh, uh, thesis track studying. Uh, Daniela? Hi, yes. Okay. Why there is excess? Now it's better? Okay. Can you hear me? And there is no echo, right? Now it's good. Daniela, it's good. Um, Can you hear? Yeah. Okay. So there is no echo, right? No echo. Okay. So, um, yes. Hi, everyone. So this is my second year as a master's student in environmental science. So, yeah, I could say I, I having a very, a very great experience. Um, the university is beautiful, first of all. The campus is just full of green and the environment, the international students as the local Israelis are very friendly. So as a living in the campus is great. And so my master's degree for the second year, um, my supervisor is Benny Hefetz. So he's the dean of the university. 
which I have a very good um, lab teammates, very professional. So it's one of the things I could say, all the courses are very well prepared by, by the teachers. Um, with the, all the papers are very, um, uh, we could say very update. All the information is super update. And the programs is like really, it goes to the target in the case for environmental. Uh, I learn a lot and it's a very high level uh, for me comparing coming from Mexico. Um, it's, it's, it's like a very, very good level. And so basically this experience of studying in, in the university, in Hebrew University, is giving me the tools to be, to pursuing even a PhD position or even like to find a good job uh, in Mexico or even in another country. So I'm very grateful to study here and I really encourage you to apply for the program. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much Daniela. Thank you. It's so great seeing you after last year to see how you're blossoming here and continuing your research in the lab. It's, it's really amazing. So thank, thank you for sharing this with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I would like to ask a few questions. Uh, a few questions from uh, uh, the people who are participating in this session. Uh, first, I want to say hello to uh, Professor Alon Samech who's head of, head of our, uh, <laughs> you can unmute yourself now. Okay. He's head of our plant sciences program. Alon, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you can do with the one uh, year non-thesis program in plant sciences? Well, what most people do is uh, continue for another year in a, in a research lab and they get experience in doing actual research. There are some that uh, in advance want to come for one year because they already have a job in their country. And they just want to um, um, learn much more and get a much better background in, uh, in agriculture. How do you feel the experience here on campus for international students? Well, I think I'm not the best judge of that. Uh, I think if you see the video at one point, you'll see that. Uh, oh, they didn't see the video happy. that well. Guys, you have to see the video. It really showcases our students in an amazing way. <clears throat> I can only tell that from my experience, it's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have so many very interesting people from all over the world and to learn about their culture. And to. And I think our faculty gains a lot from uh, having you coming to us. It's, um, it's uh, we're the ones that uh, that gain from it. Yeah. I hope you will do too. Definitely. Just so you know, um, during the plant sciences program, students are actually having hands-on experiences in which they go to the field and actually grow their own vegetables and fruit. This is part of Alon's uh, course, and it's being done with students from uh, who are undergrad students, actually Israelis, working together with the international students in the field throughout the year. They learn a lot from each other. They're even learning uh, the different cultures from each other and some of them even learn Hebrew. So it's a really beautiful project and we do have like a very big field next to our faculty in which you actually work, do your farm to table and take it home afterwards and cook it. Uh, it's a beautiful experience. Uh, and of course, if you, we see you here, so you'll get to have it by yourselves. Thank you very much, Alon. Saul. Saul, okay. Uh, I want, I want uh, to just to mention one thing about uh, emphasize one advantage of our campus, okay? Uh, because it's what we are doing now here. Um, I think um, um, Rehoboth is a great city for international students in general, because we have only, not only the students in our faculty, we are just in front of the Weizmann Institute of Science with also many uh, international student, uh, students and a postdoc. Uh, but our faculty, I mean, you, you, you saw the numbers. We have about uh, 23,000 students, uh, most of them undergraduate students, but uh, hundreds of uh, master students and PhDs. And uh, so it's, 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 a, it's a good number, but still is, is a very friendly, not a, it, it's, it's a, a green, but also very friendly campus which it takes maybe one day or less to, to be familiar with it and see where everything is. Uh, I can tell you, I also came as an international student here and I did a one, one year 
uh, of uh, a preparatory studies studies in Jerusalem. In, in Where are you from, Saul? I'm from Uruguay. Yeah, there is. I don't know if there is people from South America here, um, but we have. Yeah. We have Salome wow. from. From where, Salome, are you? Brazil, I would say. Yeah, you also have okay. from uh, Colombia and Mexico. Oh, Colombia. Okay. Because it's a Portuguese name, Salome, too. But anyway, uh, and I was one year in Jerusalem, in Mont Corpus uh, campus, which is beautiful. But uh, after one year, I, I feel that I go lost there. I, 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 didn't, I couldn't find myself. And then I came to, to the Rehovot campus, as in less than one day, you know everything, where is it? Also in the city, it's not a big, a huge city, but it's a city of about 150,000 people. Uh, it's very easy and friendly, and importantly, it's located in the center of Israel, very close to Tel Aviv, not far from Jerusalem. We are just a five minute walk from the train station, which now with the corona, we have some limitations, but in general, you can be in 20 minutes in Tel Aviv, in 40 minutes in Jerusalem. So it's very convenient also from this uh, uh, aspect. Yeah, it's just Any a little bit questions? of marketing about uh, Rehovot and our camp beautiful campus. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you. it is very beautiful. Any more um, questions, Maital, you can see in the chat? Yes, hold on. Um, there's someone asking, uh, Patamesh Bakshi is asking about the bachelor's degree uh, that he's completed in agriculture biotechnology. This is for you, Saul. And my research project work is on tissue culture. I want to ask if there's any scope for this, and I want to know what is the criteria and the process of admission for master's in agriculture. Can you just give us um, a quick reminder about how you can uh, apply? To the masters? Sure. Uh, as I said before, for most uh, uh, thesis track programs, um, you will need to have a supervisor that will be a, a researcher in the faculty that will be willing to, to supervise you. So, uh, and also, uh, you, you need to validate your undergraduate students' uh, studies. So, th these are two, two pathways. That can you can go in parallel. One by uh, looking at the website of the different researchers, if you find some uh, topics of research and, and visiting. Uh, we we have in, in the faculty about 100 uh, researchers in the different uh, departments and centers that I mentioned before. Okay, so you can go through the department websites and look to the website of every uh, researchers. Uh, for example, in uh, tissue culture, you can see also in plant science, you can see in animal science that deal with these aspects. And sure, you can start contacting them, uh, potential supervisors, according to the topics that are in your interest. In parallel, I see that uh, Mazi is here and, and she, she Mazi's in, Mazi Stein is in charge in our faculty of uh, uh, advanced uh, or graduate st uh, studies. And, uh, and you will need to ap apply to the over to to, our, to the overseas unit of, of our uh, uh, university, and and this division uh, will be able to evaluate your undergraduate uh, uh, degree, uh, the, the 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 grades, the transcript, and and also uh, you you will have to show a a certificate of um, English uh, proficiency proficiency. And if you are admitted according to the uh, ev uh, evaluation of the overseas unit, and you have a researcher in the faculty uh, in any of the programs that is, uh, he will be willing to supervise you, that's it. You can start uh, registering. The, 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 there is one exception I mentioned in the program of environmental economy and management. In this program, you can be admitted without a supervisor. You can start your studies uh, without supervisor, uh, and uh, you have 10 months until you find a supervisor. The problem that in this case, um, it's uh, you, there, there will, I mean, there is no uh, tuition exemption and also not uh, uh, scholarships available because in general, the scholarships in most cases are paid by the supervisor that will be a guide will will be guiding you in your research. I don't Thank know you if very much. Thank you, Saul. Uh, I would like to uh, 
to address uh, um, Dr. Tamara Polosova. Can you please unmute yourself? She's the head of our program in environmental sciences, environmental quality sciences. Uh, Tamara, I would like to ask you, um, what is unique about the program in Israel? Why Israel? Yeah, because uh, our program is quite a rich program. So we have different groups of courses. Do you hear me? You hear yes. me? Yes. Mita, do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we have uh, quite, quite rich and very good courses uh, which encompass environmental chemistry and uh, environmental uh, quality sciences. For example, we have courses environmental chemistry, mycology, and pollution. We have courses related to water quality and water treatment, courses related to environmental problems in agriculture, courses related also important data analysis and programming and environmental economics. We also have courses on scientific writing and we have, I think, a unique experience, very good experience with scientists on certain uh, tasks, scientific tasks. Yes, and then uh, it, was, it was called like research exercises and, and students, they learn new topics and new methods of, an, uh, of analysis. Chemical, so on. So it's quite, quite. So it's actually having having a research exercise um, during uh, the second semester, right? That actually they go into the lab. Yes, and, and I'm out. yeah, and take all the knowledge that they have and they implement it in their research exercise. Yes, it's not only just exercise; it's also a small scientific topic, which uh, they not only learn how to analyze uh, the methods, but also they learn scientific thinking. They finally write report, yes, and then present in seminars. It's a very useful experience, uh, whether they uh, continue a second year or not, but you know, or just to go for a while. It's a very useful experience to develop your thinking and lab skills. I'm sorry, just the end, you said that they develop critical thinking? Yeah, critical thinking, yeah, scientific thinking, yeah. and you see, uh, Danielle agree with me? Yes, yeah. And, yeah, and, and lab skills, and uh, they learn new methods, analytical methods. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank I you very see, much. Uh, I see uh, a question from Jody Mora. Mora. I'm looking for avocado floral induction pieces, which should be my future program. Alon, yes, I think you are on your field. Yeah, I work on uh, flower induction in, in fruit trees, so um, you can contact me directly. This is an opportunity to say that those of you who are interested in a thesis track uh, two-year program, it's it's uh, you should you, sh you need to work hard for this in, in finding a, a, a thesis advisor. I really don't. Uh, uh, I'm, as a as an advisor, I don't like people sending these uh, messages. Uh, I'm really interested in your work, uh, and uh, without even acknowledging what what each each person is doing. I think if you want to convince someone you want that uh, to take you. Try to find out more about uh, their research the, and and do some homework. And once you have something that they, you know that this uh, Saul is doing something specific on bacteria that's really interesting to you, approach him with some kind of uh, a bit of knowledge about what he's doing and why you think his lab would be good for you. So do some homework. Try to avoid sending these uh, messages to all the faculty it's not taken seriously by us. We, we prefer to see someone that's, uh, that did some homework and uh, is serious. Okay, thank you. And again, I'm, I'm reminding you that if you, don't, if you didn't find an advisor, there's still there is the option of the one year non-thesis track, which you can take it like Daniela started it. And then you, while you are here, you go to the lab, you meet people. And as I told you last year program, 80% of our students continue on to the second year. Yeah, I want just, just to follow a, a long, a long a, a, a statement. A, a, this is really important what Alon said. I mean, don't, don't write to all the 100 researchers in the faculty and say generally, I, I'm interested in your work. Uh, please consider to recruiting me. No, do homework like Alon said. I want to say also, because I see one question here asking if there are 
scholarships available in the biochemistry, food uh, nutrition, uh, uh, food science and nutrition program. As I mentioned, once you are admitted for the two year uh, thesis track and you have a supervisor, you will have a secured fellowship of about uh, at least $1,000 uh, per, per month. It's 35,100, uh, not 35,000, 3,500 uh, shekels per month. And one more point that I want to stress, we work in the faculty, we work with, in tight collaboration with researchers from the Vulcani Center, which is a governmental research institute in Israel, which is located very close to the faculty. And, and some, I would say even me, many of the researchers in the Vulcani Center, uh, they, they have in most cases departments that are quite in parallel with the departments that we have here. They can also be supervisors of master uh, thesis. So, so you can look also at the website of the Vulcani Center and they are considered, uh, considered as, as students of our faculty, as students of the Hebrew University. They, they have a degree of the Hebrew University. And uh, from our point of view, they are uh, students uh, of our faculty uh, as, this, as with the same conditions as those that carry their research here in the faculty, okay? So this is another uh, uh, direction of opportunity that you can look for, for a, a potential supervisors for your research. Alisa, may I add something? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yes, Daniela. So as a student, and it's very true, as Tamara and Alon and Saul said, I think it's very, very important, something I did in my case. I was reading before, I'm very interested, and something I'm doing now is continue studying about wastewater treatment and to specialize in water treatment because I'm an environmental science. So I was reading before in a head uh, different articles, and especially I found articles from Benny Hefetz, who is working with antibiotics, and I was really, really interested. So I started uh, basically my email and check what they said uh, to check the, the uh, all the professors who are into water treatment. So basically, the main one I was very interested in was with Benny Hefetz. So I wrote him an email, what are my qualifications, what I'm studying, what are my grades, like kind of like what I'm the average, so he will know. So I add on my on my email, my CV, so he will know um, what is my background and all my, basically my experience in the field. And also I said to him, um, I want to work on a specific project that you have, which he wrote um, many articles about. It. So especially about what wastewater treatment and funding antibiotics. So I was very, uh, um, I could say very concrete and, um, and to kind of introduce myself. So he knows my background and he knows what I want to work. And most of my friends also who did the first year now doing the second year, they follow the same advice and they found supervisors here in the Hebrew University or in Volcano. Yeah. Thank you very much, Daniela, for sharing this experience. I would like to ask you one last question, Daniela. Uh, where do you see yourself uh, going from here? Well, um, I must to say because I got like a very good, very good education, not to just not because I'm here in the interview, but I feel very strong on, on my knowledge that I got from here. So basically now um, I even I, I can apply in different countries, not only in Mexico. I can apply even um, uh, like now I have the chance to apply some jobs in, in the United States. Um, or even in Europe, depending the field I want to do. At the moment, I'm pursuing a PhD position uh, con to continue my research or um, to continue of wastewater treatment and specializing. Yeah. Very well. So you feel that it, this is, has opened uh, your career path? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, as, I met, as I said before, the whole program, it can give you different opportunities in the case of environmental and also um, we did some courses with plant science so it can give you many opportunities so then when if i want to apply for a job i could say okay i have a very good knowledge about molecular biology or biotechnology or wastewater treatment uh, which are some of the main we could say topics that some companies are looking for so that's why is 
I could say it's very updated, the program. So when you want to find a job or a PhD position, they give you the tools for that. And how do you feel about Israel in general? Uh, the startup nation thinking out of the box? Out of the box as a Mexican? I mean, like this, uh, in the sense <laughs> like, a, I could say it's the combination. I'm from Latin America, right? So I could say it's the best combination between Latin American and European. Plus, if you put some spices of Middle East. <laughs> so, so for me, I got like a very good day. Uh, a uh, very good experience. And, and also I see my friends who are coming from Africa or coming from Asia. Here in, in Israel is very multicultural. So you will learn, you're all the time hearing uh, different, uh, different languages uh, in basically in all Israel. So I, I think the people in general are very welcoming because basically you have everything here. So are very welcome. And the fact that you can go into your uh, mentor's office, uh, being very informal, right? Yeah, yeah. And this laughing is... and call him by the first name. Yeah, That's I don't know. Yeah, from many students who come from other countries to Israel. Yeah, it's, it's, this is probably one of the, in the academic point of view, is one of the best in the sense of people are super humble. I, 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 I mean, you can see Saul and Alon and Tamara. It's like even the, the smallest question that you have is like, oh, I feel so silly to ask. It's like Benny, I, call, I don't call him Professor uh, Hefetz. I call him Benny as his uh, first name. And with all my teachers that I had, uh, it, it's just, I, I can feel like the communication, you know? I don't feel lower or, or um, not able to, to feel I can uh, to ask. Um, so in the sense, uh, the culture itself, it can give you a very good atmosphere to learn. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just want to say to everybody who asks questions, this is just the beginning. We'll be in touch with you. You have our emails, you have our links, you have all the information. You can keep on writing to us. We'll answer all your questions. You'll get the recording of this presentation, the recording of air all day, and we'll get back to you to the different questions you kept asking. So, uh, uh, that's just yes, you can write back to us and get all the information that you need. Okay, so uh, I think we can uh, close this session. Uh, we'll answer, okay, thank you everybody, thank you. And uh, we'll, share the, we'll share the recording, we'll share everything with you. And um, uh, we'll also go through your answers at the chat and we'll get back to you and we'll give you answers for everything. Okay, so I hope we'll see you here next year. Bye. Thank you all.